Hey, what's up everyone? This is Evan with Podpeak. In this video, I'm going to show you some useful tricks to edit your podcasts faster in Reaper. Now, before we begin, I've been using Reaper since about 2010, and in my view, Reaper is one of the most flexible and powerful DAWs on the market. It's a lightweight and very tightly coded program, so lightweight, in fact, that you can run it off a thumb drive. It's extremely stable in that it loads really fast and it rarely crashes. But the main reason I love it so much is that it is completely customizable. You can create your own key commands and custom macros, which in Reaper are called custom actions. You can change the layout, you can create your own toolbars, and much, much more. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to import your audio to start editing in Reaper. I did a remote interview earlier today using CleanFeed, and I wanna start editing that now. So there's two ways you can do this. Uh, the first thing you can do is you can pull up your media finder. So I'm just gonna go up into view, I'm gonna go into my Reaper tools and click media finder. And you can see right here on the desktop is uh, my interview that I did. And I'm just going to drag it in. And there it is. Uh, another way you can do this is you can minimize the screen. Here, I'll just pull this over a little bit. And you can just grab it and drag it and pull it in. Um, so that's uh, a really fast way just to get your audio in the program and to start using it. And this takes us to the next workflow tip, which is splitting your stereo tracks into separate mono tracks. So when you record someone remotely, as I did earlier today, uh, oftentimes you end up with a stereo file with your voice panned to one side and your guest's voice panned to the other. So we wanna separate these tracks for two reasons. Number one, we want both of the voices to be panned in the center. And two, we wanna be able to edit each track separately, which is gonna give us more flexibility in the editing process and it's gonna make the final product cleaner and overall higher quality. So I've got the original track here, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it twice. So I'm gonna duplicate it once, and I'm gonna duplicate it again. So I'm gonna take the original one, uh, and I'm going to mute it, and I'm going to pull up my track manager, and I'm gonna hide it. So my original will always be in the track manager. If I need to get back to it, I can. Uh, now, this interview I did today was uh, with a, a friend of mine named Jason. So uh, my audio is on the left. So I'm gonna name this top track Evan. And I'm going to click on this track, which is the stereo file. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit item settings and I'm gonna scroll down to where it says take channel mode mono left. And what that's gonna do is turn this stereo track into a mono track that just has the left side or my audio uh, on it. So I'm gonna click that and there it is. Now I'm gonna go down to this next track and name it Jason. And I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to go to item settings, scroll down here to take channel mode mono right and click that. And so now I have uh, my audio on this top track and Jason's audio on this bottom track and I'm ready to edit. And that brings us to the third tip, which is cleaning up. So I like to go through, uh, the first thing I like to do when I'm editing podcasts is go through and just clean up all the areas where uh, one person isn't talking. So, you know, right here in the beginning, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up right here. Uh, and then I'm just going to go through and highlight and just hit delete. And I'm just going to kind of go through and clean up all these spots. Uh, and on and on and on. And, you know, there's, I'm sure there's some ways to do this faster. I'm sure other, other programs might be able to do this quicker. Uh, but this is just a real fast way in Reaper just to kind of go through and clean up and get everything looking nice and sounding as clean as possible. So the next trick I'm going to show you is called ripple editing. And what that does is when, if I cut out a spot, let's say I just want to get rid of this area right here. 
if I don't have ripple editing enabled, I'm just going to hit delete and it's just going to cut that. And so normally what I would have to do is take this section over here and, and drag both of these over manually. And then I'd have to come in here and like, you know, crossfade these, you know, like that. But when you have ripple editing enabled, I'm just going to undo all that. I'm going to do that up here. You know, let's say I'm going through listening to this and I just want to and I just want to cut this area out. Well, when I hit delete, it's going to just automatically cut it, but bring it over naturally. You know, so I can roll through here. Let's say I want to cut this section out. I don't need this. I'm going to hit delete and it just automatically brings this over. And then I'm going to scroll out so you can really see how this works. So let's say I want to cut out this section right here. I'm going to hit delete and it just brings it all automatically over. So ripple editing is, I mean, it's an essential podcasting tool. Any good DAW is going to have ripple editing, uh, but I'm just showing you how it works in Reaper. So that's it for this video. Those are just kind of some quick basic editing tips to make you uh, edit faster in Reaper. And I'm probably going to do a part two to this here in the future. So have a good day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get in touch with me about uh, podcasting or podcast editing, uh, just hit me up at evan at podpeak.com. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.